CITR 101.9 FM in Vancouver. Hi, I'm Stuart St. John, and you're listening to Synchronicity, talk radio for your mind, body, and soul. Thank you, Stuart. So that is Stuart St. John, and he is on the show today to talk about his fabulous CD, Cloud Walking. He is a musician, and he also works with Esther and Jerry Hicks, as well as Theo. So we're going to be talking about that today. Now, you're listening to Synchronicity. If you want to contact the show and ask a question on the air, the number to call is 604-822-2487. That's 604-UBC-CITR. Or you can email me at spiritualshow at gmail.com. You can also listen online at cosmicdimensions.com or citr.ca. And my site, spiritualshow.com, is up and running. And you can also follow me on Twitter or join my channel on Face, rather, YouTube. And both of those sites I'm listed as Spiritual Show, all one word. So we're going to get started with Stuart St. John. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Marie. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks for being on the show today. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. So let's talk a little bit before. I want to talk about Abraham Hicks, of course, but for the listeners who don't know who you are, um, what is it that you do? You're a composer. I'm a composer. Um, I'm a writer and a film director. Um, I've been focusing on composing music uh, for the last, um, you know, last year. I've been really allowing it to flow. It kind of uh, came back into my life doing the uh, Sarah books with Jerry and Esther Hicks. Um, and I'm just kind of, you know, following my bliss and letting it become and evolve. Fantastic. Well, I've been listening to some of your music, and you have the CD Cloud Walking. Yes. Which, and if anyone wants to order this after the show, you can find it, uh, a link to it on my website at spiritualshow.com. And it's also available. What's your website? It's stewartstjohnlight.com, and we've got um, the Cloud Walking album and, and some other you know fun music stuff, music meditations available there too. Beautiful. And you also sent me um, a, C- a song that is a vibrational sound meditation. So can you talk a little bit about what that is? Sure. I've um, what I do with the vibrational sound meditations. It's almost a different channel that I'm receiving when I'm when I'm composing those uh, those pieces. What I do is I go into really deep meditative state. I'm sitting in front of my keyboard, and I just allow the energy. Um, and what I'm feeling to flow through, and I start playing. And usually when I come out of it, there are about 12 minutes, 13 minutes, and when I come out of it, I feel the vibrational word that is, you know, related to the music that I've just done, and that's how I've been naming them. So it's a, it's a pretty incredible experience that I go through to do that, which is a little bit different than the, uh, the way I receive the cloud walking music so far. And so it sounds like I, I was listening to another interview of you the other day, and it sounds like you were kind of a child prodigy. How did you, you don't have any training in music, or you didn't when you started. No, I, I still don't. I, um, I have just, you know, when I was really young, I sat down at a piano and I started playing, and my mom was just, you know, blown away. We had a piano in the house, and um, I just, remember just sitting and hearing music in my head and and hearing not just melodies but i could hear and i still do i hear symphonies in my head um, all the different pieces of the orchestra and so what's wonderful about you know the computer today i'm able to actually play those different instruments in the music that i'm composing so for me it's just nirvana to be able to have that at my fingertips it's so amazing what we can do with technology now just even on uh, right now i'm looking at the the screen here and we have a, a program similar to what you're talking about with different tracks here at the station and uh, you can create so many fabulous things just one person and put it all together and it sounds like a whole orchestra isn't it crazy it's it's a wonderful time to be alive isn't it mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i love it so let's talk about abraham hicks because um on this show i talk about abraham hicks And if you don't know who Abraham Hicks is, uh, Esther and Jerry Hicks. Esther Hicks, she doesn't really use the word channel, but basically she channels the group consciousness, Abraham. And they talk about, mostly about the law of attraction. And so how did you get involved with them? Well, 
the uh, I had been studying. I mean, I've been studying spiritual concepts uh, pretty much my whole life. I mean, even as a kid, my mom was uh, very much into the Seth material, so I was surrounded by it um, from early on. And in my it's in my twenties, I started reading the Conversations with God books and um, Celestine Prophecy. And a friend of a friend from South Africa, uh, we were sitting in a hallway in an apartment building that I was living in, and he looked at me and he said, and we had a really deep spiritual uh, conversation, and he said, you know, I think you're ready for Abraham. And, of course, I said, what in the world is Abraham? And we drove over to the Bodhi bookstore, the little bookstore in Los Angeles, and um, he, we looked for the book, and I found the, the pink book, um, which I still tell Jerry is one of the most profound books on spirituality that was ever written. And, and what is that book? It's okay. called A New Beginning, uh, book two. Uh, there's a green book and a pink book, um, and it's the early, early books that Jerry and Esther were printing, I think self-publishing, and you couldn't find them anywhere. And this was like in the 90s, so this is maybe 1995. And I devoured that book on a trip from L.A. to San Diego. I mean, I read that thing and felt, you know, that connection to source the answers to everything that I had been asking and um, started really, really studying uh, what Abraham was talking about um, back then, which was a little bit wild for some of my friends and people <laughs> that I was trying to explain what the law of attraction was and, you know, that you can control the things in your life and you can, you know, see what's happening in your life based on what you're feeling and thinking. So um, I, went to the, I went to the first seminar by myself, um, to see Abraham, and on that first seminar, I actually saw the energy cascading down around Esther. Cool. And, yeah, it was a real spiritual confirmation for me that I was in alignment with this material, and um, I knew for me that that was, that was really it. And then, I guess it was about eight years later, I was in a bookstore, and I had been going to the seminars and, you know, seeing Jerry and Esther and I was in a bookstore, and I leaned down to get a book. I don't think I've told this story before. I leaned down to get a book, and as I was getting this book, I had a vision in my head of Jerry Esser and myself sitting on the set of a movie that we were doing together. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was really profound, and I wrote them. And one thing led to another, and they pulled me into all the Sarah stuff that they were doing. It was it was really really magical. It was a great match for me, and I've just had the best time getting to know them. 